our journey through the Beaver State began in its heart, Portland. Hip millennials, art bars, and all sorts of creative spaces littered this coffee-rich land. But our business in the city was strictly for supplies. We traded in the big red van, a noble steed in her own right, for two vehicles a bit more suited for the great outdoors. We then stocked up with supplies at a local outfitter. We were going to need thicker rubber this far north. A few new faces were joining us. Hitting the coast was something reminiscent of the Goonies and Harry and the Hendersons. Where there weren't ferns, there was moss. Where moss was absent, there was some kind of massive oak. The forest was dense and beautiful, and it just kept growing, growing all the way until it met the Pacific, and the two opposite elements met together, smoother than the way honey meets tea. We met up with two forest-dwelling mermaids. These sea vixens knew of a little coastal nook out of the wind. So, with thicker rubber, and the desire to wash miles of travel off our backs, we took to the sea. bid adieu to our new friends and set up shop just outside a nearby crab camp. While warming our bones with coffee and the welcoming roar of a small fire, one of the local crab trappers told us legend of a barren stretch of coastline just a few clicks away by boat. Our curiosity led us to bartering off our booze in exchange for the hire of a grizzled fisherman's crab boat. A worthwhile trade if this fisherman's tales were true. The craft was built for the hunt of delicious crustaceans, but we were on a different search. And though we were not elbow deep in crab's legs, we were satisfied. Faces full of smiles, and our visit to Oregon already giving us so much, we didn't think it could get much better. But we remembered our friends had told us of a place where we could grab a few waves in front of a waterfall that emptied from forest into sea. Unanimously, we agreed that such a place demanded a visit.
It's hard to have any expectations of a destination when your journey alone is equally as satisfying as the destination itself. But fun little right-handers in front of a waterfall? Who wouldn't be content with such a setup? The colder it got, the better it got. I suppose that's the beauty of good rubber on a journey like this. Cold is not a limitation. So to that logic, and to keep the past success, we headed north.